Hey everybody, it's Tony Avenia. I've been wanting to make a few videos explaining channels and how I use them. I thought today I'd make a little space scene and you can see how I use channels uh, for certain effects. Basically a quick rundown, an alpha channel is like all your regular channels, not a layer, but it's a place where I can keep selections, kind of like a quick mask. Um, if I double click this alpha channel, I have it set to selected areas. So that means that anything that's black like this is going to be a selection. So I can draw these shapes, then uh, command click on this channel in Mac. I'm sure it's probably control click in Windows and it loads it as a selection. Now if I go to my background layer I can just fill that right in and it'll be the same as my selection, it was the same as my alpha channel. So with that said let's get started on this space scene. First thing I'm gonna do here is fill in my background layer with black and create a new layer. Now I'm gonna make a new alpha channel and I'm gonna go to filter, render, clouds. Okay, so now I go back uh, to my layers and I'm working on layer one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load this channel as a selection. I'm going to hide the selection because I don't like the little marquees dancing around while I'm trying to work. Uh, pick a color I like, like this purple, and uh, take my airbrush tool and just kind of start airbrushing in like this I get this nice little textury stuff uh, then what I'm gonna do from here is deselect my channel take my eraser tool and just erase a little bit here and there that way you don't have the full selected look and then I can take my airbrush tool and uh, just add a little bit here and there. That way you're not sticking to the hard uh, cloud from the filter. It doesn't look, look so much like you use a filter. So the next step I'm going to do on this one is I want to make stars. So I'll make myself a new layer and I will pick myself out a brush that I made with splatters. Something like, uh, let me set everything to 100. Something like this. And I'll just start brushing that around a little bit. And now, again, I don't want, you see it's a repeating pattern, and you can sit, see the same thing over and over. So I'll go in and start erasing, like, randomly here and there. And then I might even take a different, uh, a different splatter texture brush. different uh, texture splatter and just use that here and there too just for some variation now from here there's two different things I can do I can uh, make a layer beneath that layer and uh, take my airbrush tool with a soft round airbrush and start airbrushing behind it so we have this little bit of a glow effect and then you still have that white coming through everywhere or uh, alternatively what I can do is I can fill this in with that color and then start airbrushing here and there make some of these things glow a little bit and then make a new layer take the pencil tool and uh, use a white and then just kind of pencil in little dots and swirly things here and there to also give yourself the illusion of, of glowing but you definitely no matter which way you do it, you need that white center to really sell that you have know, something that's wrong. So once we do that, now um, 
and make another layer here and take my rectangular or elliptical marquee and just pull a circle shape here and it's going to be like a planet and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make once again make a new channel by clicking on the save selection of channel button here and uh, so once I have that I'm going to make two more channels first thing I'm going to do is uh, go to select modify expand I'll expand this about oh, we'll do six pixels and then I'm going to save that selection now I definitely should name these so I know exactly what I have this one is expand now I'm going to load my planet selection again and then this time I'm going to go select, modify, contract. And I'll also do that by six pixels. And make a new selection. So now I can load my planet selection and I'll just fill this in black so you're basically seeing a silhouette. Make a new layer. And first thing I'm going to do is load my expanded selection. So if you see, here, if I zoom in, I can see that it's it's away from my initial planet shape. Then what I'm going to do after that is um, subtract my contracted selection. And to do that on my Mac, I hit Command Option. I'm sure it's Control Alt, uh, and just click on that channel. So now what I'm left with is basically a ring. So then from there, I'll take my airbrush tool sort of airbrush in a little bit of a horizon there. I could uh, expand that selection. I'll do this by 12. And then I will also feather it. And then just airbrush it in a little bit more there. And now what I usually do after that is I will make a layer underneath, another layer underneath my planet shape. And I'll just airbrush a little bit of color like that so it's, so it's really glowing. Now I can leave that white or I can fill that in with the color and I would also fill in this layer with the color and then I go back to my channels. I load the expand, I subtract the contracted one, make a new layer, and I can start airbrushing in a little bit of white there. So you get that little hot uh, glowing thing in the middle. And from there I can deselect and airbrush in a little bit more if I want. I can take my pencil tool, set to a lower opacity, maybe try to make some lens flare type of action. It's not a good brush. Let's see, I can do it with my airbrush tool also. And set the opacity a little bit low. And I can make a little whatever lens flare type of deal. But basically that's it. It's pretty simple. Definitely play around with channels. I'll try to make some more videos and show you exactly what I do to use channels for distressing textures and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this was helpful.